spotlight mm -hmm. designers, some of our favorites and those that we admire and respect. And today will be no different. This is what we're doing today. <laughs> so we're doing this every month and uh, we're very excited to share who we have highlighted for you um, on this episode. Hey, Kim. Hello, hello. And we are live also on Facebook. So hello everyone out there in Facebook world. Awesome. So uh, without, I introduced the episode already and uh, without further ado, oh wait, actually a little bit of further ado, hang on a second. Let me just bring our pictures up okay. on the Instagram because you know, you have to, um... hi Helen, how are you? All right. Hi Helen. All righty. Um, cooperate, cooperate please, presentation. Here we go. There All we right. go. Okay. Are we getting a little bit of an echo? I'm good. Do you guys hear an echo? How Do about you? now? If it's just me, then we're okay. No, that's much better. It was me. It was okay. my phone. My phone was echoing. Sorry, everybody. Okay, we're up. We're good to go. Yay, Katie. <laughs> there we go. All right. So um, for this month, I am choosing to highlight four interior designers that are going to be part of Luann Live. So for those of you who have not bought your tickets yet or aren't sure who are going to be part of this special virtual conference, I thought I would pick for the designers today that we could kind of highlight and showcase. So first up is uh, Katie Menon from Stevenson Interiors. She is located out of Alberta, Canada. I have had the pleasure of meeting Katie down in High Point when we could sadly still go to High Point. Hopefully this year, this uh, fall or spring, we'll be able to go. Um, but yeah, she is a full service res residential interior design firm. Um, that is based out of Canada. And the project that I chose to highlight of Katie's was um, a children's room. So this uh, looks like a little girl's room. And it's what I wanted to showcase here was the fact that they layered drapes on top of shutters, which isn't something that you always typically see. Um, sometimes shutters are kind of like a standalone product, but I wanted to show you that, yeah, you can layer shutters with a drapery on top of it. So um, what you have there on the side are, it looks like from the amount of pleats that it's potentially could be something that can operate, that can function and close, which works in terms of, because shutters are not always a um, room darkening product, as much as sometimes I, I hear that from clients a lot of the times where they say, oh, I, I want shutters because they're room darkening. And it's like, no, you're still going to get a little bit of a light bleed. They do make the dark or the room pretty dark, but it's not I'm a not total completely blackout. It's not a blackout situation. So if you ever wanted the look of shutters in your room um, and you wanted to add a pair of blackout drapes so you could open and close, this is kind of, this is an example of how that would look. Nice. Very nice. I like the clean, cleanliness of it. Right. Uh, monochromatic look, just very pretty, kind of a more a girl's room that more on the on, on the older the side, 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 not a, the side, of course. And I have actually had the privilege of meeting Katie as well yeah. at last High Point, which was I don't know a year over a year ago. Yeah. And uh, Katie nice is a call. sweetheart and an extremely talented designer, yeah. and also um, really thoughtful and very deep individual as well. So I've, I've really enjoyed knowing her. And then at Luann Live, she is partnered with Desi and they are going to be discussing their topic is um, work-life balance. So if you ever wanted ah. to figure that out, I know I need to figure that out. I know I need to figure so, it out that's, We that's, all do. I know. So it's a never ending battle. It's a journey that never ends. <laughs> absolutely. So that's definitely one that I will be tuning in with a pad and paper and listening. Can't wait, can't wait to hear Katie. Okay, the next designer comes from me. Um, this is Holly Pecora of Holly Pecora Interior Design. And um, we have just been um, acquainted, a lot more formally acquainted, I suppose, mm -hmm. on a more professional level recently. We're in the process of doing a project for her. But I've actually known Holly for quite some time, just from being in the industry in the Philadelphia area, from IFDA and various different networking organizations that we've been part of. So Holly actually started her career in um, 2001 as a um, 
a sort of a on-site uh, field taught, I think she calls it in, in, in her bio, interior designer, where she worked for her brother's architectural firm. And of course, if we look back or think back to 2001, that's when the housing boom was on the mm -hmm. rise. And so both she and her brother and their team, they've really written that whole housing boom and did, did quite a lot of work in that whole home building industry, as well as um, tapped into the decorating of the model homes industry as well. And then came 2008 and Holly decided to start her business. Little did we know when we all started our businesses. I started mine in 2006, so just before they oh, housed okay. us. She started hers in 2008. So uh, we're both the product of that whole um, kind of crash and, and burn of the housing mm -hmm. industry. But I think the the testament to well both of our successes. But you know, I'm highlighting Holly now. Uh, the fact that she is she is around. She's successful. She is she's a very strong interior designer and uh, has multiple very interesting projects. So the testament to her success is is how, um, how strong she is and how she knows how to persevere and she knows how to work really hard. So the project that I want to highlight for her, admittedly, we did not do it. This is not the one we're in the process of doing our first project with her. But this particular one really uh, stood out in for me because I really liked how she combined the mm -hmm. Roman shades that were very kind of understated and they sort of blended with the walls with really strong pillows on a, on a neutral sofa. It's not a design schematic that I see often. And I thought that that was really bold and really strong. So kudos to Holly. Holly. And uh, I also wanted to point out that Holly has kind of three different specialties. Number one is that she works with customers who are either redecorating or renovating her homes. Okay. Number two, she is also still very strong in the um, model, like a um, new construction model industry. Mm -hmm. So she works with local bid builders to, to decorate her, their models. And number three, she's also a stager. So she can work okay. with real estate agents and professionals to stage their homes and units to make sure that they sell faster. So Holly has sort of like a three pronged approach to her business and uh, she's active in the industry and uh, very strong, knows what she wants, knows what she's doing, has had enough experience and uh, it's been a pleasure dealing with her so far and I'm really looking forward to more as well. That's great. No, I, I love, the, I, you know, we, we tend to do, or lately, it's a lot of um, Roman shades, but I just love how sim they can be so simple but can make such a large impact on a space. Definitely, for sure. All right. All right, so next up is uh, Jenny Slingerland, Singerland, excuse me, um, of Black Ink Interiors. She is out of uh, Arizona, Scottsdale, Arizona. I have also have had the pleasure of meeting Jenny down in High Point um, a couple of times. She is a um, very smart business lady, smart, hashtag smart lady, like Luann always says on the podcast. She will be partnered up with Amber De La um, De La Garza, yes, excuse me, sorry, it's a little hot oh, in, my home, in my home office, it's <laughs> close today, and when I shut the door in my office, it gets like a, becomes like a sauna in here, and I have the door closed so that the, the sound isn't too crazy, anyway, so they are going to be talking about um, value yourself and knowing to how to identify your high value, so that's definitely one that you want to check out. I mean, you want to check out all of Luann live. But um, the project of uh, Jenny's that I wanted to highlight was one when I was going through her Instagram feed and her website was something that really caught my eye. Now I'm going to ask you a question, Vita. I don't know if you'll know the answer to this, but looking at this photo, and we look at a lot of photos um, and we deal with a lot of homes. What, when you're looking at it, what is the first, like where do you think this is in someone's home? Kitchen? No. <laughs> um, basement kitchen? No, this is her client's laundry room. Oh, cool. So, Very cool. I can see how that would be. All right, all right, right, cool. So when I was looking at it, I thought how fun to really come up with a space that I am always about like finding like the one room. I feel like the laundry room sometimes can get a little ignored, um, but I mean, how much fun is this doing your laundry room? I mean, I, I would love to do laundry in there. And um, there's another photo that you also want to check out. She they created a pocket doggy door that you oh want to that you have you have to go to her 
uh, Instagram page, Black Ink Interiors, and check it out, please, because it is super cool what they did to this space. And what I loved was, again, just a simple like mock Roman Valance. It looks like it has the ear. So like what we call it, Window Works, the Vita Valance. Um, so that just kind of just finished off the space and it just with the blue cabinets on either end, without it, I feel like the room would be okay, but the window treatment just made it really feel complete. Definitely. And you know, I think it would have been a perhaps easy to go with something blue and white yes. in the fabric on that window treatment. But knowing what that wallpaper is like and along with the upper cabinets, and I know it's not shown in the picture because I had to crop it, but the bottom cabinets are also that blue, blue shiny, yes. purple, blue, right? And so the fact that Jenny picked a very understated fabric for, for this, I mean, it completed the window without it being too much in the whole space so i really like how she went for, for the quiet rather than the bold here right right it's like the room already itself is a, such a jewel box considering that it's a laundry room and then just doing that quiet understatement you know it's like when you wear the little black dress i always equate like when i'm talking to clients and, and whatnot sometimes what is the little black dress and what is really going to be like that pop of color the the what's going to be the jewelry or the shoes and sometimes it's the window treatments and sometimes, sometimes the window treatments the window treatments are the little black dress that's right that's true and so um just to go back to jenny real quickly in addition to clearly the fact that she's so talented and mm -hmm. a wonderful interior designer i i've also had the privilege of meeting her at high point but we also share something else in common so amber de la garza is her yes. business coach we know that amber de la garza is luann's business coach and uh, also i don't know kim if you know it or not but i've been coaching with amber You're for over a year as well so I amber remember. gets around <laughs> oh we get I don't know. <laughs> so um we we just we get attracted to super smart and uh beautifully inside and out late coaches and ladies and women in our yes. industry whichever way you want to look at it well it, it was because when i went and had that meeting with you last february which i can't believe it was already almost a year ago and you were talking about amber and um click up yeah. we started using click up at our office when awesome. uh, yeah so well, that's yeah, great. So it's you definitely, have, you've been using it a lot. Have you been relying on it heavily? Well, when I now it's something now that we have we have a new assistant now. Once she gets integrated a little bit more, I I'll have a need for it. But when I was over the summer, basically on my own, oh, yeah, on right, exactly. I don't need to make my own to do list. I know. <laughs> yeah, I hear yeah. all these technologies and apps, yeah. they, they become, they, they're not so important when you're a solo, whether a solopreneur or a solo yeah. person performing a role. But as soon as you have that hire or an assistant or somebody that supports it's, you, it's key. I mean, all of a sudden it becomes, it becomes from like zero to, to a hundred mm -hmm. <laughs> in terms of importance. Yeah. We digress, Kimberly. Yes, I know, but. I mean, it's my fault. I started asking you about click. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. It's still value. If you're an interior designer out there, it, it's definitely something you want to check out. Definitely. Okay. Um, the next designer that I want to highlight is Marcello Luzzi of WPL Interior Design. So Marcello is um, is a veteran in the industry. Mm -hmm. You can't tell because he looks so young, but he's been around since 1980s and has just like a ton of experience in, in the design industry. And not just experience being an interior designer, but experience from the standpoint of um, teaching. He is a professor at Drexel and Harcum Colleges, which are two local schools here mm -hmm. in the Philadelphia area. He's also highly involved in a lot of interior design associations nearby or associations that have to do with art, antiques, um, architecture, design, um, be that Museum of Art or ASID. So he's really quite involved in the whole sort of arts and beautifying and, and making the world a, a better place, if you will, from, from this standpoint. So he was also the president of the ASID, Pennsylvania East chapter, which I'm a member of right now. I'm actually the membership director. So he's one of our past presidents. And um, I've, I've met Marcello. He would not remember it, but I met him over 10 years ago at a David Shepard's event. David Shepard is, um, he's also kind of a coach consultant to mm -hmm. interior designers and he used to hold conferences in um, New York and around the country. And that's where I first met Marcello. Okay. And, uh, I, 
back from those days as well as kind of following him all throughout these years i've just been very impressed with his interiors with his design choices with his thinking and um really how he how he makes his decisions for for the design as well as the practicality of mm -hmm. interior design so I've been to also design homes here in the Philadelphia area where he ha he's been awarded rooms and what he's done with them. So his track record is really, I mean, because <laughs> partially because he's been in the industry for so long, but also in big part for his own talent and skill and everything that he brings to the industry is really so his, his um, contribution is quite unparalleled. So the project that I chose to highlight is is this bedroom now this is a really really interesting bedroom and uh just like in previous example with jenny the window treatments here they kind of they they sort of play a secondary if not really a tertiary role mm -hmm. they're not really something that really pops at you right away right. you don't really quite see them you kind of have to squint maybe a little bit to see <laughs> what they are especially in light of this bold wallpaper which is mm -hmm. really hero number one in this room and um and then the chandelier is hero number two and then the bold bedding is hero number three and then the combination of the blue and the yellow is hero number four i'm, I'm losing track of the numbers here but this room is so incredibly packed with really awesome gems and jewels metaphorically speaking that window treatments stand back and so you know kim how much i love me some really bold and risk-taking mm -hmm window treatments, but oh, yeah. I also can really appreciate and respect the choice where the window treatments need to stand back. And it's like the example that you were gi giving before, you know, what's the black dress? Is the black dress, is that the statement in mm -hmm. itself or is the, or is the uh, little black dress a fallback and the background to mm -hmm. the beautiful jewelry, right? Mm -hmm. so, so in this case, the window treatments, fall back they're not the the hero and that's okay but the important thing is right. that the window that the windows are still treated they're not naked they're not forgotten <laughs> and they still play a role a secondary but nonetheless a role in this in this decor and so for, for this i really and for many all those many other things i really respect marcello now uh full disclosure we we don't we don't do any work for wpl mm -hmm would love to of course but we don't currently and uh, this is not our work but it's something that i still I respect and admire and i wanted to feature here very nice okay next up is uh justin q williams of the trademark design co justin is out of Atlanta, Georgia, and um, he will also be on the design panel for Luann Live. He will be uh, partnered with Darla Powell, and they are going to be discussing social media. So, oh. yes. So, and uh, Justin, uh, he has a full service interior design firm. He started it in 2009. So he works obviously in the, in the Atlanta, Georgia area. And the project that I wanted to highlight i wanted to do like a little before and, and after mm -hmm. so this is before it's a typical dining room space um you can see how they have a set of windows in the front of the house and on the side of the house and um i was with what inspired me was i was with a designer a couple of days ago and their their client was talking about you know i really like do i really need drapes is it really that important to add drapes can i just do shades and yes you could just do shades you can get away with get away with just putting any kind of window covering a hard treatment on your window but in certain rooms once you add the drapery panels or any type of soft treatment it really just shows how it really finishes off the space so i love what he did here how he transformed this dining room so this is the before and that's the after now nice. look, wow yeah you know you know what i mean so like to wow. me this was like such a wow moment that sure. yeah could we have could he have just popped the table there with the fabulous blue chairs and depending on whether or not they needed the privacy or you know sometimes window treatments are needed and that's when we do a you know a stationary panel or a mock roman valance or whatnot but the room to me would not have felt finished if you didn't have the, the panels. So this is just an example of, yeah, you 
may not have needed them, but it just elevates the design and the look that much more once you add them in. And I think you just hit the nail in the head here, Kim. You know, like in the dining room, do you need a table? Yeah, you need a table. Right. <laughs> do you need chairs? Yep, you need chairs. But then the rest of it, do you need a spectacular chandelier? I mean, any chandelier could do, right? right? Do you need a buffet? Do you need accessories? Do you need do you need window treatments? It's not like you need it like for, for life or you need it for the mm -hmm. place to function, just like if we were to break it down to our most basic, like at, at, its, at its foundational level, at its basis, yes, you need the table chairs to function as a dining room. But what you just said, all those other elements and window treatments included, take the space and elevate it to, I mean, several notches up. Right. And, and 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 make the space strictly take it from strictly from strictly a functional space to a to an elevated beautiful gorgeous amazing just an incredible space that people want to be in and dine right. in and and call their own and really truly be proud of yeah hi angela my fabric cut rep oh cool yeah. <laughs> now and and to i know vita and i always preach on here in terms of like the height of the drapery rod. I mean, how much taller do those windows on the ends feel now? I mean, they, they just, by bringing it up too, it just makes the room feel that much larger in scale. So that's yeah. just my little soapbox moment right Great now. Great job. Great job there, Kim. <laughs> now, do you, you don't, you don't do this, his work particularly. No, I mean, he, right, I'm right. highlighting. Yeah. Everyone here. I mean, they're all but like, great job. Um, you know, Canada to San Francisco. Right. No, no, no. Unfo I was going to say, great job, Window Works, for making this happen, but great job, nope. whoever made this happen. Great, <laughs> great, de Atlanta great design, Justin. Great design and great job, whatever Atlanta based workroom and installer that make that mm -hmm. executed Justin's vision. Yes, absolutely. All right. My next designer that I'm highlighting is that wonderful, cheerful, adorable, <laughs> uh, one of my favorites, um, Kate Lee of Kate Lee mm -hmm. Designs. So our relationship with Kate started right before COVID hit, actually. She, okay. uh, she got uh, to a certain point with uh, the relationship. I'm, gonna say, I'm like, oh my God, how do I do this tactfully? Uh, with the relationship that she had with her workroom, you know, you get to the point, you're like, okay, I need to change. I need somebody new. I need somebody who will really take care of me. And so she gave me a call we had a conversation and here we are uh, just a little bit short of a year later and i think we i mean we easily have 10 projects under our belt i haven't counted oh, nice. but we have quite a few and some of the really big ones and we have a ton more in the works too so kate is um she's a small company but a but very mighty. It is It is yeah. her and, and an assistant and, you know, and everybody that she works with in terms of outsourcing. But uh, she is so talented and um, also really knows, like she's at a point in her career and she's mm -hmm. been an interior designer for 15 years. So it's not like, you know, she just, you know, right. got it work yesterday doing this. So thanks and thank you, Angela. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, she was talking about the other one. Yes, that one was beautiful too. Oh, I just thought she was talking about this. So anyway, so um, what I really respect about Kate is this. She came to me with pretty deep understanding of window treatments. Mm -hmm. I mean, she knew what she was doing. She knew how to take deductions. She knew how to measure. She had accounts set up with Horizons and other window treatment companies. Mm -hmm. But the reason she came to us is because she realized <laughs> all are beautiful. Angela, you're super sweet. Thanks for saving <laughs> me there. <laughs> so, so she realized that she, she only has so much time this is what all of us have. There's only finite amount of resources mm -hmm. and time is our most precious resource. Right. So she realizes that she wants to spend her, her most precious resource on designing and fostering relationships mm -hmm. with her clients and fostering relationships with her referral sources who are usually builders and some of the custom mm -hmm. builders in the area. And there's only so much time and there's only so much of her uh, to go around so she said to herself, how can I find a window treatment company who can really support me, who can have my back, mm -hmm. who can speak my language, who can be organized and communicative and really just, just really take care of my window treatment needs, even though I know how I could do it myself, but there's only so much time in the world and I want to do design work. Mm -hmm. I want to be part of window treatments. I want to design them. Offer them to clients. Yep. 
Yeah. But all the execution and all the nitty gritty and all the details and all the headaches mm -hmm. and all the problems and all the communication and all the ins and outs and back and forth that goes into what you and I can do 24 <laughs> seven. Oh, she, yes. She, she, <laughs> Kate made a conscious decision to outsource it. And uh, I, I truly respect her for that. And uh, we are, Vitalia Inc. is that trusted partner for her. So Kate, hopefully we're doing a bang up job for you. Mm -hmm. So the project that I want to highlight here was a recent installation that we did maybe a few years ago. And uh, it was just, it's, it's a beautiful dining room that she transformed from just being super kind of drab and builders mm -hmm. great to something amazing. It's a uh, fully black and white. We did blocking on these draperies. They're one and a half widths. Um, in terms of fabric, mm -hmm. we put them on acrylic rods with some black, highlights in terms Black of accents, yep. accents thank you that's the word <laughs> and uh, um it was just the draperies here were one of the heroes they were sort of equal player in the whole mm -hmm. dining room um like we were saying sometimes an element of the design fades back sometimes it moves forward and sometimes a lot of elements really playing an equal part and these window treatments truly were an equal contributor to the whole design of the room and it turned out beautiful yeah so no, I, and just a couple of things to point out here, what I really liked. And I, they can be intentional or I can just be making it up. So you let me know. <laughs> I so, shall. <laughs> so with the color blocking, was it the intent to almost line it up with the molding in the in the space? Yeah. Are so, you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. I thought so. I don't think that was like a happy accident. That never happens by accident. No, no, so, no, no, no. So, the amount of mathematical uh, calculations and algebra that went into this <laughs> will rival my sixth grader. Yeah. So this is another reason why, like, to your point that um, she could have just spec the window treatments and things like that. And a lot of times there are designers that have window treatment knowledge. But do you really want to take that time to sit there and figure out that that mathematical function of, okay, it hits here. And then where do I lay the trim and everything else? And that's why when there are some workrooms that are just basically seamstress workrooms, which there's nothing wrong with that at all, but they're not going to go through the, you know, painstaking detail of making sure that line is right, figuring out the trim. They're going to rely on you to give them that information. So that's where when you call, Vitalia Inc. and Window Works, we're going to take all that stress and everything else off of you. And so that's just something to keep in mind that you don't have to think about these little niggy details. That's what we're here for. Good catch, Kim. Yes, that whole uh, blocking and where it aligns, yeah. that was a big deal. The hardware, that cal calculation, and where to put it up, that was a pretty big deal too. We're not, I know that's not what we're highlighting now, but for sure, what yeah. the amount of work and thought process and the details that you have to think through to even put put up something seemingly simple like this is it could be mind-boggling and it, it's totally a collaborated effort i always say that with the designers that we have that we're fortunate enough to to execute their window treatments i always say i feel like i'm an extension of your team yep and so we when we're out there we're rep representing who you are your firm when we're with your clients but yeah. again, it, we take away all this kind of work and, and nonsense. Hassle and stress. Yeah. And I, I call them the 2 a.m. pings. You know, when yeah. I would wake up, I'd be like, oh, did I order enough friends? <laughs> is that going to work out? <gasps> exactly. Is, is the Billy, rock going to sag? <laughs> is Billy going to get there and go, I can't hang this? Or what were you thinking? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Moving on. We have too much fun, Kim. Oh, we do. We do. Okay. This next designer that's up, it's Christine Lynn. Um, she is the principal and founder of Form and Field. They are located out of the uh, San Francisco area. She is also going to be on Luann Live. She is going to be with Eileen Hahn, and I'm so excited. I love Eileen. I miss I Eileen. I love Eileen. I love yes. I'm so excited that I know everybody, not everybody, but so many people that are yes. going to be on these panels. No, Eileen has like a little special place in my heart. I've really, I, I mean, she is Luann's cousin and I've known, um, I've known Eileen and Aunt Honey for many, many, many years before uh, Luann started the podcast and everything else. But now that um, 
with the with La, with Luann Live and she was at High Point just getting to know her a little bit better and getting closer. So we are definitely um, in for a really great panel discussion. Um, they are, uh, are going to be discussing, I believe, um, hold on, I can double check that I have that right here. Hiring and firing. I think so. <laughs> the They're going to be talking about find exceptions. Yes, how to lead and manage your team. So, which is also really important. Um, definitely going to be listening to that as Window Works grows and our team gets a little larger. Um, when I started at Window Works, there was the three owners, uh, myself, the showroom coordinator, and one other installer. So there was wow. only three little. There's only three of us. And now we're a team of 14. So it has definitely grown a lot in the last 12 years. So, but Amazing. for this, for this project of um, Christine's, I totally nerded out. Probably no one. <laughs> it's like silly, the dumbest things that get me like, oh, how did they yeah. that is so cool. So I know. Um, I know. I'm the same way. I looked at I'm like, oh, how did they do that? <laughs> for anyone who's new to watching, I'm a total drapery hardware geek. I love drapery hardware. It is an obsession of mine. And when I see a decorative traverse rod following a circular wall and the drapes that function, it's like, I mean, that, that's no joke. That's this, no joke. To make that happen is no joke, guys. No, no. Like, this is just, it's, because we've done this before. So it is templates. It is CAD drawings. There is a lot, a lot that goes into it. And for this particular project, um, this particular project, they had multiple rooms that had this curved rod. It wasn't just one, because I thought I kept going back and forth when I was on um, the company's website, and I thought, Oh, is it the same picture, the same space at just at different angles? I'm like, no, because the beautiful, you know, chairs in front of the window, it's something completely different. So this right here is no joke. And it can be done because I often run into a space like this and the client or the, or the designer will say, oh, we really can't do drapes here. It's like, yes, we, we can do drapes here. It, it is possible to do and functioning drapes. It just doesn't have to be stationary, but there are. There are a couple of companies out there. Um, I think Iron Art will do a curved draw. That's who we got it from the last time when we did it. Kelsey Brothers will do yeah. it. Um, yep. And Ona Drapery is the one that we that we go to often as well. So it, it absolutely can be done. And these do look like from the amount of pleats that they could potentially function. This is not a rod with rings. This is a decorative traverse rod. So um, it has Looks the like uh, carry. Uh, I, I think it's pleated okay. and I'll have to go back. I mean, it, from the pictures, again, the, they're small. It, it might be, but um, yeah, it's definitely not a rod with rings. It's definitely a track. So I just, I'm obsessed when I see something like it's this beautiful. and I have to show it off. It's Outside beautiful. of like the interiors are great, but for me, that is the hero of the room. We each have our own things, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the next designer that I'd like to highlight is Cherie Stein. She is a Philadelphia-based designer here. I've been following her on Instagram for quite some time. We do not do her work right now, but it is somebody that I admire highly. I admire her for several reasons. Um, let's talk about her aesthetic. Actually, no, we'll talk about her aesthetic later when I show her, uh, you her pictures picture of the work but there she there's something about her character and personality mm -hmm. that has really caught me in a in a beautiful way she is a very thoughtful person she puts her thoughts out in a very eloquent way she's also thought provoking in her writing mm -hmm. she she does beautiful writing she is she strikes me as as deep mm -hmm. also very kind and um, and really quite soulful. And so all of these qualities, it's something that aligns personally with me, mm -hmm. with my personality, with I think my character as well and how I lead my life. And so it is for those kind of character characteristics, that, um, not just personality traits, but characteristics that um, I really admire Cherie. And then as far as her aesthetic, what Ooh. you see in this picture is is her That's signature pretty. style. Mm -hmm. If you go on Instagram and follow her at um, Cherie Stein Designs, you will see that all of her work is 
either black and white or some sort of variation of black and white mm -hmm. and gray and uh with with minimal with some intrusion of color but mm -hmm. really everything she does is grounded in that in that black and white contrast the amazing thing is that she knows what she is she knows what her style is she knows mm -hmm. what she loves and she designs to that she makes no apologies for that mm -hmm. she doesn't deviate she doesn't go oh no i may not have enough clients today who like my black and white aesthetic therefore i'm going to go into florals and some other things i mean she is strongly mm -hmm. footed in what she loves what she respects what what, what her what her belief system is and mm -hmm. this is part of her belief system so to be that that can uh, to have that kind of strength of conviction is something that i respect and admire mm -hmm. just tremendously so yes i can talk about the draperies here and how i think these are actually <laughs> ripple fold and they're also mounted on these cool tracks and the tracks are all the way up to the crown molding which kim and i always talk mm -hmm. about and how cool it is to have two panels flanking uh, flanking each window so to really make a statement so there's lots of various aesthetic things that we can mm -hmm. unpack in this particular particular photo. But if you guys remember nothing else from what I'm saying, it is the strength of Cherie's conviction that is really catching my eye in her personality, in her character, and ultimately that's what's translating into her design. So go follow her on Instagram. She's really <laughs> quite amazing. Okay. Alrighty, everyone. Well, that was this month's episode of our designer highlight. Um, we have a free ebook on our website. So if you are new to window treatments, head on over to windowworksnj.com and you can get the ebook Architectural Digest is Coming. I have 10 things you need to know about custom window treatments. So it's basically like window treatments 101 written by Luann. <laughs> nice. And also from Vitalia Inc., you also have a free gift. Mm -hmm. It's a um, free lookbook that you can download by going on Vitalia Inc. It is 37 and a half window treatment ideas, which you can use immediately, swipe, steal, and make your own on your next design project. So just, just use it as your own library. If you're not sure mm -hmm. what to do or looking for that inspiration for your client, this is the place to go to, as well as the past 35 episodes of what Kim and I did here <laughs> on these yeah. lives. And uh, if, if that's not enough, you can also refer back to my lookbook as well. So you can download it immediately at vitaliainc.com as a free gift. Perfect. And if you haven't already, <laughs> what are you waiting for? I know. Once we're done here, go sign up for Luann Aguirre Live. It's happening in two weeks or basically like a week and a half almost at this point now. And you're not going to want to miss it because some of the designers that I highlighted today, that's just half of the panel. There's other, you know, it's packed with a lot of talent. So you have the co-authors of um, the second book and the designer panels that coincide with those co-authors. So there's going to be a lot of topics that they're going to cover on how to run a well designed business. I'm super excited. I am I am there. I can't wait to listen to everyone, to see everyone, yes. to be part of this event. It's going to be, I think, monumental. <laughs> and I really think it's going to be that reset that all of us needed. Yes. Coming off of 2020 and heading into 2021, you need um, just different kind of thinking and elevated type of thinking. And I think it is Luann in our industry that is capable of pressing that reset that button for all of us collectively mm -hmm. in the design industry. So Absolutely. I can't wait personally. Absolutely. All right. So thank you so much for joining us for episode number 35 of Window yes. Treatment Friday, mm -hmm. the live edition. Mm -hmm. So I, um, you know, I never introduced our, ourselves. Or I didn't. My name is Vida. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the owner of Italia Inc. And uh, if you're in the Philadelphia area, if you're an interior designer, specifically in the Philadelphia area, looking for that hands-on support to have someone to. Mm -hmm really help you with window treatments to have the one-stop shop your 
go-to resource for all things window treatments. We are the fabrication, installation, measurement, and project management company that truly has your back. And uh, it is for specifically for interior designers in the Philly area, or even if you're across the country looking or doing a project in the Philly area, mm -hmm. we are happy to support you on that as well. And for those of you who don't know me, I am Kim. I'm from Window Works. We are located in Livingston, New Jersey. We service the New Jersey and New York metro area. Uh, we are also a full service interior um, window treatment company. And we also offer awnings. Avita also offers awnings as well. So if you, you if you need help on any window treatment or awning project, please feel free to give us a call. Um, we have all the resources and the thing, what we were talking about before, taking out all the guesswork, um, in terms of where to lay that trim, where to put that color blocking. Um, you don't have to worry about ordering drapery hardware, taking all that stress. I love it, so I'll do it for you. <laughs> Nicely <laughs> done. Kim, it's always wonderful to yes. co-pilot these episodes with you. So everyone, thank you so much for joining us. And join us here every Friday at 12 noon on Facebook and Instagram Live, yes. because Kim, if it's Friday, it's Window Treatment Friday Live, WTF Live. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, and have a wonderful weekend. Bye. Okay.